Hi, I'm Graham Walker. I'm leading a team of entomologists at Plant and Food Research, working with the potato industry to try, in particular, to reduce insecticide use on potatoes because of problems with the new potato pest, tomato potato psyllid. Uh, the methods we're using is looking at a cost-effective way of sampling plants that growers and scouts can use and monitoring systems and tools to help make decisions uh, to reduce insecticide use in potatoes. To sample a whole crop, it's very important to sample representative plants right through the crop. So we're saying 50 whole plants representative. representative. Um, you need to take into account the edge effect um, because there are more insects on the edge. When the crops are small, you can walk through and use a zigzag or a figure eight to walk through the whole crop. When the plants get big, you can't do that. What you can do is you can walk up and down the spray tracks, which the tractors allow so you can walk up and get in, into the crop. Okay, so the two methods we're focusing on for monitoring tomato potato psyllid are the yellow sticky traps that are put out in spring to monitor flights of tomato potato psyllid adults into a crop. And we're also subsampling the potato plants to see what's on them, what's infesting them, and what levels of insects are in the crop. Right, for sampling the crop, we sample 50 plants in the crop. Um, from those, one of those plants we choose two stems and we pick a middle leaf off the stem. So one, this, here's the middle leaf and we assess that for infestations. We do that for another middle leaf on that plant, 50 plants, and then we've got a reliable assessment of the insect infestations in this crop for making any spray decisions or not. Uh, from the four to five years of research that we've done, we can give three bits of advice for growers uh, growing potatoes in the Pukeko region. Firstly, you can grow early crop potatoes without insecticide use, harvested before Christmas New Year. Secondly, you can use a subsampling system using the middle leaf for reliable indication of the infestations in a crop. And thirdly, we've found that uh, native predators control psyllid for eight months of the year. There are two important predators of psyllid in potato crops, and they are native predators in New Zealand. There's the brown lacewing and the small hoverfly. The brown lacewing is present all year and is a predator both in the larval and the adult stage. The hoverfly is a predator in the larval stage, comes in in December and becomes dominant. You can get up to 200 predators per plant. Our future research is to try and maximise the impacts of these native predators in commercial crops.